started out as a fabrication company and it's kind of evolving into other things. Initially we started out with primary like straight fabrication so I started out like porting heads and then building small machine parts and then we find ourselves moving towards more automation and mechatronics and automating of like circuit boards and building other solutions. The services we offer now is we offer CNC machining, those three axis CNC machine we offer engine porting, we offer ceramic coating, we offer 3D printing and a bit of we're going, we're moving towards, as I said, the automation section, so that would be more like mechatronics and Arduino based stuff and controlling things using PLC and stuff like that. So basically, I do, basically, I've been in products from scratch. You understand? Um, as regards to any product where you have, like a smartphone, you basically draw it from scratch, um, do our calculations, specs, uh, circuitry, we build a circuitry from scratch. Uh, so build a circuit board um, by ourselves. We also print, print the body. Uh, so we normally integrate things that are from the DFM or DFA. Uh, so it's easier for us to integrate outside um, under the made um, components. components. And then we'll kind of reverse engineer them yeah. and we'll kind of hack it and do what we want, we want the product to do. So it can work. It was always a concept in my head, like I always saw like like the tuning companies in Japan, like the HKS and the Spoon and those sort of companies and I always wanted to do something like that. I think it was probably like 2016 when my finger kind of went in a machine at, 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 at work. I was kind of there thinking like, might as well but, but try something like try something new and then I think after that I've been doing some research because I bought a little car and I wanted to start making parts for it. It kind of just started where I was doing some work on my car and trying to just build the car that I feel it should have been built or trying to get to a point where I feel it, it's nice for me. I was just doing my calculation and doing my stuff and I gave it to my friend to drive and I'm like, what have you been doing to this car? I'm like, nothing, I've just been kind of fiddling with the suspension and the chassis and stuff like that. And I'm like, but well, every time I drive a car, it's getting faster and faster. And I'm like, okay, yeah, well, I feel it too, but I said, it's not that significant. I'm saying, no man, you're doing something right, man. And then he gave me, he, he had bought a car and he was having some issues and he wanted to build over an engine and he gave me an engine head to port, and I ported that head, I think, in 2013, and then, what's 2013, no, 2014, 2014, and then after I ported that head, we went and we got the tuner to tune the car, and he was like, yo, it's one of the two or something, yeah. And so I just fiddled with the head, and it kind of just started from there, where the tuner was giving me reference, and other customers kind of come and give me reference. People are coming, one o'clock and I'm like, I have some work for you. I'm like, yo, may I sleep? <laughs> so, <laughs> as a child, I always usually pull up things and make things from scratch when everybody was kind of playing with mud and dirt and then sometimes building like a skateboards and things. And then my father, he had a Ford Escort and then a Mini and then I started to go around him. And then I remember one day when I was in university, I said to him, boy, you know, say, I want to learn and I want to do more with vehicles. And he had an Evolution at the time that was an Evo 6 and he was fiddling with it. And then he introduced me to his mechanic and I said, boy, I want to come learn. And I kind of started learning. My, my automotive journey kind of started at probably 12 with playing around with parts and stuff like that. But, but really focus is when I had a mentor and a... And, and my good friend, um, Bulla, he, he owns Bull Speed. He kind of took me and he kind of started to train me on European vehicles and Porsches and we were working with Mitsubishi's and at the time, 
he was doing a lot of engine modification and development and I kind of learned a lot of things from him and it kind of started there where I went off and I did my engineering degree now and with the knowledge that I got from him it kind of just muddled together and just come out. Well, currently we're kind of small. Anybody can come to us but we kind of look at products. We're more interested in products to go from concept to development. You understand? So we, in, a, in addition to like engine parts, we take like if you have an idea or something that you want to build, we look at it and we'll say, all right, this is how we think you should build it. And we go through the design phase and we go through the engineering and we go through the calculation and we'll, we build a prototype for you. And then if you're satisfied with that prototype now, then you can go and we'll optimize it for you. So we also do design for manufacturing. So we help, we have been helping customers get from, get from small, medium scale, like hand, doing handwork to more automated, automate, the point of automation where they can take away themselves and they can do other things with the time and they can increase productivity.